How to crochet the basket weave stitch, left-handed. To download written instructions for this stitch pattern, visit newstitchaday.com slash C335. For this tutorial, you'll need the following materials. A crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lion's Pride Wool Spun, available exclusively at Michael's Craft Stores, in the color Orchid. For this stitch you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet. To begin this stitch you'll need to create a foundation chain in multiples of 8 plus 4. Now before we get into the main part of our pattern, we are going to do a prep row. So we are going to double crochet into the fourth chain from our hook. So we've got one, two, three, four. We're going to go right in here. Then we're going to work one double crochet into each chain stitch all the way across until the end of the row. And we'll finish up this row with one more double crochet. So again, you should have double crocheted once into each chain stitch all the way across. Okay, and we'll call it like this. And then we can turn our work. All right, now we're gonna start with row one and we'll begin by chaining three. Okay, this is going to count as a double crochet. Then we're going to do a front post double crochet in the next four double crochets. All right, and this is going to start our repeat. So we're going to do this once into each of the next four double crochets. So the front post double crochet, we're going to yarn over. Then we're going to come in the front of the fabric and come around this post right here. Okay, this is the double crochet in the row before. So we want to have this sort of like looped over our hook. Then we're going to yarn over and draw through and then work our double crochet like normal. Okay. Like so. And we're going to do that a total of four times. So we'll do that again. This is going to create sort of a raised stitch on our fabric. See that? Okay, that's two, two more. There's four. All right, so that's the first part of our repeat. Now we're going to continue by doing four back post double crochet. So we'll do one in each of the next four double crochets. All right, so the back post double crochet is the, just the opposite. So instead of going through the front of the fabric, we're gonna come behind the fabric. Now you still wanna prep the stitch like you would for a normal double crochet. So yarn over first, then we'll come in through the back and over the front. All right, so now it's looped over the back of our hook. Then we can yarn over and draw through like so, and we'll work our double crochet as normal. All right, so that's the back post double crochet. All right, so it sort of pulls that stitch behind our fabric. All right, so we'll do that again. That gives us two. Three. And four. Oops. Lost my yarn there for a second. All right. There we go. So we got four front post double crochets, four back post double crochets, and we're going to repeat this sequence, the four and four, starting with the front post double crochets all the way across until we reach the end of the row and the last stitch. 
And we'll finish up the last part of our repeat with a back post double crochet. That will bring us to the turn chain from our prep row. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the third stitch. One, two, three, and do a double crochet. And then we can turn our work. Row two. We're going to repeat what we did in the first row. So we're going to start with three chain stitches. And again, this is going to be a double crochet or the equivalent of a double crochet. Then we're going to do a front post double crochet. So we're going to yarn over our hook. Then we're going to come into the front of our fabric and behind this post right here. Okay. And then we're going to yarn over and draw through. Now the nice thing about the second row is that since these posts are already elevated from the previous row, they're a little bit easier to work with. And again, we want to do four of these, so we're going to yarn over and do it again. That makes two. Three. And four. Okay, so that's the first part of our repeat with the four front post double crochets, one into each of the next double crochets, right, in the previous row. So now we're going to switch to the back post double crochet. We're going to yarn over, and this time we're going to come from behind the work in front of that post, okay, like so, and right through. Okay, then we'll yarn over and draw through. Yarn over, draw through two, yarn over and draw through two more. All right, and we're going to do one into each of the next three. That will give us a total of four. So we'll do that again. And you're going to start seeing these ridges being formed on this back post double crochet. And that's sort of what's going to help give that basket weave look. This is the top of the previous row and that back post sort of forces the top forward and gives us that sort of horizontal line, which is kind of neat. Now if you're a tight crocheter, then you'll want to be very careful about where you insert your hook, because sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see what you're doing when your stitches are super, super tight together. So just make sure you practice. A little bit and make sure that you're not crocheting too tightly okay all right so we've got four front post double crochets four back post double crochets just like the previous row that's going to finish our repeat so we'll continue again into the next with a front post double crochet again four and then four back posts we'll repeat that all the way to the end of our row and we reach the last stitch And we'll finish up our repeat for this row with a one last back post double crochet. That's going to leave us at the turn chain. Oops, lost my hook there. Okay. So we're at the turn chain. We can see we've got one, two, three chains here. And we're going to do a double crochet into the top of the third chain for that turn chain. And that's going to finish up the row. All right, then we can turn our work for the next row. Row three. Again, we're going to repeat what we did in rows one and two. Okay, we're going to keep building on these front post double crochets that we did in the previous row. So again, start with a three chain that equals a double crochet. Then we'll do four front post double crochets, one into each of the next double crochet should be getting pretty used to how to do these two stitches at this point 
This is a great pattern to practice on if you are wanting to work on your front and back post double crochets. These stitches are really useful for creating some interesting textures in your fabric. All right, so we've got our four front post double crochets. Again, we'll switch to the back post double crochets. Be careful where you insert your hook. Alright, two more, and that will finish up our repeat. Alright, so we've got four front posts, four back posts. Again, we can see those ridges being created. So we're going to repeat this all the way across until we reach the last stitch in our row, starting with the front post double crochet. All right, and again, we'll finish up our final repeat of the row with the back post double crochet. Oops, I split the yarn there. Don't want to do that, that's a bad idea. Make sure you grab all that yarn. This yarn is really loosely spun, which makes it nice and lofty, but sometimes it's a, you can kind of split it a little bit. So you just have to be careful. It's still a really nice plush yarn to work with. All right, so now we've got our turn chain. So again, one, two, three. This is the top of our turn chain. So we're gonna do a double crochet into the top of the chain. And we can turn our work. Row four. Again, we're going to repeat what we've been doing for the last three rows. So three double crochets and then one double front post double crochet into each of the next four stitches. All right. So this be pretty familiar by this point. I'm not gonna slow things down as much for you. So when we finish this row, we'll be halfway through with our pattern repeat. So we're gonna switch over to back post double crochet now. Okay, then we've got three and four. All right, so again, that will finish up our eight stitch repeat. Four front post double crochets, four back post double crochets, and we'll repeat this all the way across until we reach the last stitch in our row. And again, we're going to finish up our row by doing a back post double crochet. This will be the end of our repeat. And we'll do a double crochet into the top of our turn chain. So hopefully you'll be pretty good at identifying it now. But remember our turn chain has three chains, so we'll go into the top of the third chain. And now we can turn our work. Row five. We're gonna switch things up now. And we're gonna begin with doing the three chains like we did in the previous rows. Again, that's gonna count as a double crochet. But instead of doing a front post double crochet, we're going to flip it. So we're gonna do a back post double crochet. And this is really gonna to start to create our uh, basket weave pattern, okay? So we're gonna sort of make these checkers. Um, but because the way the ridges look, it sort of looks like it's going in and out of each other, like it's woven. So we're going to do four back post double crochets, 
one into each of these front post double crochets. So we're going to come through the back of the fabric, around and back through, and we'll have that post here on the back side of our hook. Then we're going to yarn over and draw through. Okay, we've got three, three stitches on the hook, yarn over, draw through two, draw through two. Okay, and we'll do that a total of four times. So again, around the back, through the back, just like we've been doing before. This really is a very clever pattern because when we do these back post double crochets, it pushes that ridge up onto the top. So it makes it look like these front post double crochets are going underneath the ridge, which gives it that woven look. So now, just like we did the back posts first, we're going to do the front posts next. So yarn over, we're going to go through the front and draw that post up. And we'll yarn over and draw through. And we're going to do that four times total. Alright, there's three. And one more. All right, so we've got four back posts, four front posts, and we're gonna keep repeating that sequence, four back, four front, all the way across until we reach the last stitch in our row. And we'll finish up our last repeat with a front post double crochet. And as always, we will do a double crochet into the top of our turn chain. One, two, three. Right into that top stitch or chain. And then we can turn our work. Row six. Now we're going to repeat what we did in row five. Three chains. Make our double crochet or our double crochet equivalent. And that's really just to get the height up that we need. So we're gonna yarn over, and again, we're gonna do back post double crochet to begin with. We'll do four of those. You should be very familiar with this technique at this point. And hopefully you're getting better at reading your work, being able to see where things need to go particularly when you're trying to pick up the right stitch to do your back post and front post double crochets. So there's four. Now we're going to switch over to front post. Okay, and we can see where that transition happens, right? It's pretty, uh, pretty apparent. This is where the back post ends. Here's where the front post begins. So that's kind of what I mean by reading your work. So we know, all right, we want the front posts to be all together and the back posts to be all together. At least every four rows, they're going to alternate. So even though this pattern takes eight rows to create a full repeat, it's actually pretty simple because we're only doing, you know, two things front post and back post double crochet, and four of those rows are the same thing, right? And then we just flip. All right, so that finishes up our repeat. We did four back posts and four front posts. So we're gonna continue with the back posts and our repeat until we reach the last stitch in our row. And again, we're gonna finish up our row our last repeat with a front post double crochet. And then we'll double crochet into the top of that turn chain. Okay. And we'll turn our work.
Now we're at row seven, so we're all, we're three quarters of the way through. Again, start with three chains, and we're going to repeat what we did in the row before. Four back post double crochets. Do four front post double crochets. I've always found the front post to be a little bit easier than the back post. And that will finish up our repeat. Four back, four front. We'll continue with the back post and do our repeat until we reach the last stitch in our row. And we're going to finish up our repeat with one more front post double crochet. And uh, as always, our double crochet into the top chain of our turn chain. Alright, so our fabric should be looking like this at this point. And we'll turn our work. Now we're going to do our last row, row 8. We're going to do chain 3. We're going to repeat what we did in the previous row. So back post, double crochet into each of the next 4 stitches. finish up that back post double crochet. Then we're going to switch over to the front post double crochets. So that's going to finish up our repeat, four back posts, four front posts. Okay, so we're going to repeat this all the way across until we reach the last stitch in our row. All right, and we'll finish up our last repeat with the front post double crochet. And then we'll do our double crochet stitch into the top of the turn chain. And that's going to finish our eighth row. So this is a full section of our pattern repeat here. We've got two sections of four rows each along with our foundation row, but we're just going to repeat rows one through eight until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you crochet the basket weave stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Hey, I'm Johnny Vasquez, founder of New Stitch A Day and your teacher for this tutorial. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to learn from us. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, we produce new content every single day. Hence, New Stitch A Day. 
you can click the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single stitch. And if you click one of the links to the side here, you can see the previous stitch in our series or the next stitch in our series. And if you click this link, you'll be able to see one of my favorites. And don't forget, you can also download a PDF with the written instructions for this tutorial by clicking or using the URL link that's on the screen. Again, I want to thank you so much for learning with us, and I hope that we've helped make your knitting and crochet skills a little bit better today. Yarn on!